uh, this girl, I don't know her name was, Roberta. It was another Roberta, let's put it to you that way. Another Roberta, the, uh, the, the transfusion tree in uh, the transfusion tree in West Palm. Roberta said to me once, I remember we were showing off the guys, I don't know how, she said, all weightlifters are insecure. I, I got so deflated. And now, I don't know whether she created a Clavin somewhere in uh, Spokane afterwards, years later. Just knowing with a mouth like that, she couldn't have been married for too long if she ever got married at all. My suspicion is she wound up uh, uh, creating like a witchcraft, uh, you know, uh, institution somewhere uh, west of the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> But actually, she was right. All weightlifters are insecure. Was right. She had wisdom. Most of the well-adjusted guys that, as it turns out, never went to the gym. They just went right into money, made money. All the other guys had to prove something. Now, it's true. They wrote books. They created music. They sculpted. They painted. They traveled the world. And they, they did it out of insecurity. They wanted to prove something. So what's wrong with that? That's the whole thing I'm trying to tell you. It's not bad to have insecurities. It motivates people. That's why it's good to give your children insecurities. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't build up their self-esteem. They'll wind up like you, worthless. They'll achieve nothing. They'll sit in the behinds because uh, all that praise you gave them, what's the motivation? They have no guilt, no shame, no desire to prove anything. So they wind up doing nothing. They wait for the inheritance. You want your child to achieve, berate them. You want your child to amount to something, tell them they're nothing. You want your child to get 100, tell them 98 is not good enough. Uh, of course, a little bit of this is a little bit uh, you know, sarcastic or sardonic, whichever way you want to look at it. But the truth is, I have a friend, very wealthy man, who uh, used to come over from school with 94s, 95s. His father was a horrendous taskmaster. He'd say to him, he'd say, Dad, look, I got a 95. You know what's coming. He'd say, why didn't you get 100? He'd come over with a 98. Dad, look, I got a 98. Why didn't you get 100? To this day, the man is an achiever. A miserable, horrible human being, never had a good day in his life. Not two minutes of peace in his life, but a phenomenal achiever and a wealthy man at that. So you have to add up what you want. You want to be a happy moron who achieves nothing and sits at home and rubs your stomach and waits for a check, either from inheritance or from the government? Go ahead. Or do you want to be miserable and prove things and build things and write things and build buildings? That's what you got to be. Guys who wind up building towers like the Taj Mahals with big wigs on and have good shrimp and good lettuce down in Palm Beach. That's what you want to become, to prove something. You don't want to sit around and do nothing with your life and be secure. It's like the high school guy who was a football player, let's say. Remember those guys you were jealous of? They, was, they looked like Tab Hunter. You looked like Woody Allen or something to that effect. I'm giving you like the Alpha and Omega of looks. There were always kids in high school who were so good looking, you, didn't, you almost cried when you looked at them. There was, no, there was no competing with them. It was like Archie and Jughead. You know what I'm saying? If you read those comics, there were kids that were so handsome. They were like movie star handsome. Usually they amounted to nothing. I don't understand it. I don't understand. They never had long lasting. It was the Schlemiel kid who felt humiliated. The 98 pound weekly who got sand kicked in his face, who was so humiliated that he went out in life and for the rest of his life he worked his behind off to prove something. That's the amazing thing of reality. It's unbelievable. How many of those good looking guys ever amounted to anything? You'll tell me all of them that you knew. And the Shlemiels wound up doing nothing. 